Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Um, hope you guys are having a good 2023 so far. Um, I got a lot of projects planned for the Lexus and other projects that I have going on uh, this year. But first, what I'm going to do is uh, something that has that I've been getting a lot of messages on, and that's going to be my front splitter. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how I made my front splitter. And this is probably going to be one of the cheapest, cheapest and easiest way to make a really good looking front splitter here. So let's go ahead and I'll get started on um, my process here and I'll, it'll be like one big do it yourself type of thing. So hope you guys could um, follow along and enjoy the content of this video. Like I said, I've been getting a lot of messages on where I got my front splitter and where they could pick one up as well. But um, yeah, the truth is I just made it myself out of wood. Um, there are maybe some out there that are for sale, but they do not look like how mine does. Let me show you guys mine. So mine sticks out like a pretty good amount that it's not too much, but it sticks out enough that it's noticeable as well. and. It does really really look good and it just goes along with my front lip here too. But yeah, in this video I will be showing you guys how to make um, the front lip. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is lay down some cardboard or some paper or something that you can um, uh, draw or trace on. But um, so. For the purpose of this part of the video right here, like right now, I'm not going to take off my splitter. So you just have to imagine the splitter, uh, the splitter being the front lip. And then I'll show you guys how to get the outline to match um, your front lip here so that it follows the exact same way that you, uh, that you do on your front lip. Whether you're doing it on a Lexus, IS, or whatever car that you're doing, um, just so that it flows better and that it looks better and matches the front lip or the front bumper that you're doing it with. So when making the splitter here, you're going to have to see and figure out how far you want this to stick out here. Um, it follows about almost the same size all the way along until it hits about this area here and then that side over there. So um, what I did was I taped the pen to like a can here because I know that I wanted that sort of distance there so I'll show you guys how I do that all right so there it goes I taped the pen to the bottom of the can here so it falls like a little bit past the can so that when you trace along the lip I'll show you guys here so now we move it it'll do that and then you can trace you can trace along the lip which is what I'll show you guys how I did it right now all right, so you're gonna just want to just put the can here like this with the pen down and then just go ahead and go and if you guys run into like a situation like this just go back and later on and um, freehand it But right now, what you're gonna to try to do is just try to get a gist of the outline of the of the splitter here, and then you can go back and make any edits or make any changes that you like. There you go. So now you have the outline of this of the splitter that you're gonna to want to do that conforms with the front lip right now. So obviously, uh, the ends over here it's about what maybe it's about two and a half inches, three inches, all the way around right now. So as you can see, um, right here, I made it cut in a little bit more. So I know that over here, you just have to just taper in a little bit, just so that it flows with both like the rest of the car. So that it goes, instead of going outwards, it kind of goes in and then kind of matches with, with the side skirts over there too. So now that you have everything traced out on how you're gonna want it to go on the splitter, um, you're gonna want to cut, 
cut it out off the paper or the cardboard, and then that way you'll be able to transfer it over to the piece of wood. Um, for the size of the piece of wood, um, mine personally is about two feet, um, it goes about two feet deep, which is from the end, from the end here all the way to the furthest part of the spider over here. And then it's about six feet across. So um, a lot of the pieces of plywood or whatever material that you're gonna be using will be about four by eight. So you can ask them to cut it to a two by eight. So it's hopefully be easier to transport for you. I know that not everybody is, uh, has access to like a van or a big SUV to support that or to bring it home for you. But yeah, hopefully uh, two by eight will be um, a little bit easier for you. So yeah, just go ahead. I'll go ahead and cut that out so that I have a template. So I have the cardboard cut out of the splitter right here. Um, so after you get this part out, you can, this is where you can go ahead and make uh, any adjustments or edits to the cardboard that you want, whether you want it to stick out all the way like this, or if you wanted to cut it and make it smaller, um, whatever your preference is. So if you have it out like that, it, it is gonna stick out a lot over here. So that's why I didn't um, keep it that way. But you can do whatever you like, um, whatever your style is. And then you don't, and then also, you don't have to have it come out uh, all the way over there if you don't want to either. Uh, mine is not for uh, function. Mine is just, just, just for look. So and then mine only goes about about uh, probably eight inches that way, and then maybe about five inches over there. So yeah, it, it's just it just attaches to uh, my front lip. So yeah, if you want yours to be more functional, uh, you can have yours go all the way out. Um, but yeah, just make sure that you or leaving, uh, leaving room for any jack points or stuff like that, like hitting your front wheels or anything either. So just, just be safe and be smart about that. Um, but yeah, if you're using it just for um, a splitter, just to like protect your front lip, go ahead and just make it, cut it like uh, cut it a little bit smaller, just so that it kind of leaves about like five, at least five inches, so that it could attach to your front lip. Yeah, okay, now is where you're gonna want to go, and like I said, do all your edits and make sure that. Um, you get to the size you want and I think from here it's time for me to go to Home Depot uh, or Lowe's so that I can get my piece of wood uh, what I will be doing from over there is uh, looking for a piece of plywood that is pretty smooth um, I have an idea that what I what on what I want to do so yeah I'm gonna look for uh, some plywood that's pretty smooth and then I want to get some uh, some fiberglass resin so that I could uh, paint that on to the plywood so that it will be uh, I guess stronger and hopefully a little bit more waterproof I did put the resin on that one right there on that splitter and it has held up uh, perfectly fine um, I did paint it with pasta dip and pasta dip is a rubber based uh, paint already so that hopefully will protect it from any water damage too and yeah this splitter has it's been scraped on the bottom a little bit but there has been no damage uh, as far as water damage from what I can see whenever, whenever I take it out. So, uh, yeah, plywood, uh, resin, and yeah, we'll go from there. Hopefully they can cut it for me over there too. So, let's go to the store. Alright, so this is the one that I'm going to get right here. That price and that size. It's right here. It's very smooth. So, yep, go ahead and have them cut it for me. Hopefully their cutter works. And then head home. The next day. Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days. Um, I wasn't really feeling that great, as I'm not sure if you guys could tell from the other video, but um, I was like running out of breath when I was saying things. But um, I rested up and I feel a little bit better now, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on making the front splitter for you guys and show you guys how, how I do it. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I got the, the little trace out of what I want to do so I'm going to put that onto the wood trace it out and um, cut that today and then I'm going to put 
the um, the fiberglass resin, spread that on it, and have that dry for about a day or so. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and continue with the project. All right, so I got my template traced onto the wood here. And that's how it's going to be. So, yeah, this is how it is here. This is about uh, five, six inches here, all the way along here, and then maybe, I don't know, maybe eight inches all the way over. So, yeah, that's how the front splitters are going to be. So, let's go ahead and get cutting with the jigsaw. All right, guys, when cutting, don't forget to use your safety goggles. Um, I have no idea where mine are, so. I will just be cutting mine without it, but yes, please be safe and use your safety goggles. All right, I just finished up um, jigsawing it out, and it is you know, a little rough around the edges here. But and then that's when you take your orbital sander and go ahead and just um, smoothen out the edges. And I I don't like it. I don't, I don't like the edges to be um, completely straight like, like this, like a 90 degree angle. So uh, I I kind of might make mine a little round. So I'm going to be doing that too. So yeah, go ahead and get a sander if you want to. Um, make a the fit and finish a little bit better but if not then you can go ahead and just keep it the way that it is right here and then um, if you want to you could add the fiberglass resin on it right now and make it harder and make it more waterproof which is what I'm going to do next but if you don't want to you can just go ahead and just paint it this way and mount it to the, mount it, mount it to the car but um, yeah I'll go ahead and show me sanding it and getting the, the edges nice and just just better looking than what it is now and then I'll go ahead and put the resin on it Alright guys, after cutting and sanding, the edges are a little, as you can tell, they're round here and they're not um, as sharp on their edges anymore. So that's what I want. And this is the finished product here before I put the resin on. So I would recommend not skipping the sanding step here. And um, when you do cut it out, cut it as close to your, I guess, your trace as possible. So that you're not sanding a lot. Um, but yeah, it's not doesn't look too bad, and it should fit underneath at least my car pretty good, and hopefully yours as well. All right, so I just got back from the store, and they did not have any fiberglass resin left. So what I got was a polyurethane spray that should that is meant to make wood waterproof. So this is what I'm going to be using, um, and then on. And then I will go over it with some passive dip. Like I said, it's a rubber base, so then it will um, hopefully create a layer that is rubber and make it a little bit more waterproof. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray that on right now. All right, so I got both sides of the new splitter um, spray down for, for, with the waterproofing spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry overnight and see how it is tomorrow. And if it's dry to the touch, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the positive. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.
So it's the next day and the splitter is all dry now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some flat black plastic dip. All right, so this is the splitter here with about five layers, <clears throat> five wet layers of um, plastic dip. And this is the final layer right here and it's drying right now. So once it's finished drying, it should look, or it should come out matte looking. And I did the tops, I mean, sorry like the upper surface <clears throat> and also the edge here so we'll see how it looks like when it's flat but it should be looking pretty good and once uh, installed on the car it should um, be pretty good as well um i am leaving this is so this is the bottom of it this is the top and it's still wood colored i'm gonna spray some adhesive on it and apply some vinyl that I bought for my for my car, so I I'm gonna be wrapping the roof, uh, a hexagon carbon fiber vinyl. So um, <clears throat> yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm gonna vinyl wrap the bottom, or which is gonna be the top of the splitter too. So that's why I'm just painting just the what's gonna be the bottom of it. So yep, um, hopefully I could do the vinyl. Uh, hopefully I, I could do the vinyl tomorrow. Um, we we'll see how the weather is going to be like over here, but uh, yeah, I should be able to do um, the roof of the car hopefully soon. Um, I have no experience, so hopefully I can have somebody help me. But um, yeah, and I'll, so I guess I'll see you guys when I start doing the vinyl wrap on the splitter. So the splitter had time to dry, and it is looking pretty good right now. I'll show you guys here. So it has more like a, a matte satin look to it. And again, this is the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, vinyl wrap the top in the carbon fiber that I was telling you guys about. So I will go ahead and show you guys how I'm going to do, do that right now. And I will show you guys the final product um, as soon as I finish. Okay, so I have the vinyl laid over the splitter right now. So I'm going to go ahead and um, cut the vinyl off. Well, I guess the excess parts, so hopefully I can do that carefully and not ruin the job that I have been working on. Alright guys, this is the final product right here. Uh, if you could see... The carbon fiber weave that hexagon and that's going to be what the roof is going to be um wrapped in so let me know what you guys think in the comments of the whole tutorial and the outcome of my front splitter um i hope that you guys found it um helpful and informative but if you guys have any questions feel free to just uh, message me and i'll be able to help however i can um yeah, like I said at the beginning, hopefully you guys are having a good 2023 and I'm excited for what's to come. Um, I did get my first sponsorship, so that will be in the next video. So stay tuned to that and please make sure to subscribe so you guys do not miss out on any other videos or contents that I'm going to be coming out with in, uh, in 2023. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to enjoy life and go slow.